Hello everyone, my name is P.A. Charbonneau. I'm an RT architect and also the author of the blog jawaisupportpatterns.blogspots.com. So what I'm proposing to you uh, over the next few weeks is a comprehensive uh, JVM thread dump analysis training program. So I've been getting a lot of emails uh, recently about help, about how to analyze thread dumps and everything. So I decided to publish a, a full comprehensive course um, on YouTube, which I hope will really help uh, your day-to-day -day work, depending on which type of role you have in your IT organization. Okay, so we're going to split the course in several parts just to help you absorb some of the content, uh, because some of the analysis can be a bit uh, complex at, for the beginners, especially for the beginners in the type of IT support uh, type of role. So. I did essentially split the training in, in two main um, sections. One which will be the basic training roadmap and one will be the advanced training as well once you acquire more experience. So what are, are you going to be able to learn throughout this training? Well first we'll start with some of the JVM and thread down fundamentals, okay? Which we'll start there shortly. Then we're going to show you how to generate thread dumps using tools and OS commands, right? And then we're going to dissect together um, with the, the Treadum data and the format itself, right? For instance, the format between Oracle Hotspot and IBM G9 and JVM. And of course, we're going to go through the analysis process and the recommended approach on how to go through a Treadum. And of course, we'll go through the stack trace analysis process, which is quite important. Um, and how you should be looking from bottom up on the runtime structures that we're going to see, okay? Once you're more familiar with the basic aspect of thread dump and how it can use you, uh, then we're going to deep dive into the advanced training program itself. Okay, so that the scope of this training program will be the advanced techniques and other thread analysis tools that we're going to use, like for example, uh, TDA, but also still focusing on the raw data itself. Uh, we're going to go through several problem patterns, which is, I think is going to be a key training for, for you there. Like, for instance, thread lock uh, contention, uh, deadlocks, and, and quite a few other type of problems as well, which will show up in a thread dump. Um, to help with, with this um, problem patterns, we're going to go through uh, some several case studies, of course. We are going also to do problem simulations. So I will set up two labs for you, one on Linux, um, and uh, Solaris and possibly Windows as well. And finally, we're going, I'm going to show with you more tips and tricks I've been using for uh, several years now with the Treadum analysis. Okay? So I hope you will enjoy this uh, training program and I highly encourage you to post any comments and questions on my YouTube channel as well. Thank you. All right, so let's get started with some of the Treadum fundamentals. So in case you did not have a chance to go to my blog uh, just yet, so I recommend that you do this right now, even as a prerequisite to this training program. So, so you will see in the um, the blog there's actually a thread dump menu item. You can simply click on it, uh, and I would recommend that you review some of the art articles I already uh, wrote on the thread dump analysis. I think that would be a good starting point. So, in order to get some of the fundamentals. Um, for the thread down, we'll start with a little bit of JVM overview, which is essentially a reuse of some of the article that I'll walk through with you here. Okay. So thread down, and the, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is is get a view on the health of the JVM uh, for what the thread, the actual Java threads, um, and even at some points on the native threads are actually doing right. So one of the diagram that I um, created for this article is actually, I believe, a, a good view of that type of interaction, right? So in a typical JVM environment, regardless of your role, right, if you're a Java developer or an IT support individual, it's important that you understand the JVM f fundamentals, okay? So JVM, which stands, of course, for Java Virtual Machine, you will see that it can be quite complex interaction or ecosystem, right, uh, between the applications. So on the JVM itself, you have several aspects to understand. Some of them, which we'll cover in the next training uh, sessions, of course. But essentially, the JVM, you get a Java heap itself with a native heap, 
which uh, I hope you're familiar by now with this concept. Otherwise, we'll, we'll do a bit more uh, overview in the next few training uh, sessions. And, and part of JVM, we of course have the Java threads, uh, which are actually executing your application program and also the other, uh, let's say, third party uh, vendor or even Java container itself, right? So depending if you're probably, you, you could be developing a standalone Java application, could be for a on desktop, or most of you probably are involved in enterprise level type of either support or development, but also, of course, Java is common on other uh, components, including a mobile well as well. So essentially, a lot of these uh, principles are quite common all, all across the technologies there, right? Um, and of course, you have the Java threads I mentioned. You have also some internal native and GC threads, which we'll see later on. And then you can see the GVM essentially interact, um, or the middleware actually itself would interact and reuse reuse of the JVM provided out of the box features, right? Um, like we're in, in for Java containers, we can think about, of course, like some of the Apache Tomcat, which is probably the most used server container out there. And then you have a enterprise level or commercial solution like Oracle WebLogic, IBM WebSphere, even Red Hat JBoss, which has, of course, open source and a commercial version through the Red Hat support. Um, and of course, part of middleware, you have several services, right? Could, you could be using a standalone web application or business services um, or other components. But essentially, all these components will need to rely on on the JVM fundamentals, right? Which include Java threads. So, for instance, if your web application, if you have one user doing a login, right, to what your web applications, well, at some point, a Java thread will be required to do this task, right? Depending on how you design your application, synchronous, asynchronous, essentially Java threads will be used for the processing, which is why it's important, right, to um, acquire the uh, JVM uh, thread as a skill so you can have a view and understand how your application interact with your user and more importantly, understand bottlenecks and issues when they arise, okay? Um, so just a bit of overview, as I said, which I find useful just to give you a bit more context uh, why we need that type of analysis. Um, and then we'll, we'll get back for some other fundamentals. So another article that you will notice also is the part three, which is called Hotspot VM, which is essentially what we'll dissect in the next few sessions, since today we're just covering a high level overview, right? So basically what is a thread dump, right? So essentially by now you probably already have an idea. So essentially it's a it's a snapshot right of all the, the JVM threads running at a given time. Again it's a snapshot, right? It's not giving you necessarily uh, it's not like a true profile trace. It's not giving you all the execution path, right? For a use case, let's say for one of the, it's giving you actually a s execution snapshot at a given time, right? Uh, which probably a complete listing of all the threads, as I just mentioned. And of course, you have several, um, a lot of data like a thread name, type and priority, thread ID, native ID. All the data is very useful with other techniques. Um, let's say you want to investigate issues like CPU problems and other type of problems. Um, so thread them uh, actually will help you for many, many type of problems or investigation, root cause analysis. So we will, we're going to dissect and deep dive into these advanced troubleshooting in the advanced training program. But first we'll, we'll need to go to the basics so at least you get a, a good idea of what this is all about. And of course, you have the Java thread stack trace, right? So each of the threads that you will see in the thread them, they have a, each of them have their own runtime stack trace, which which we'll review together. Um, and in certain format for let's see, a hotspot JVM 1.6 and above, of course, we'll get even a utilization of the Java heap itself, which is very useful, right? Because a lot of a lot of times, sometimes you get a lot of noise, right, in a thread dump, which could be just a symptom of another problem. Like for instance, if you're having Java heap memory problem, sometimes you will look at a thread dump and you think you have issues with uh, thread A, B, C, but at the end of the day, these thread are just victim of the fact that the JVM the heap ran out of memory, right? So again, we're going to use these uh, and review together these problem patterns in the advanced training program. Okay, so 
let me uh, complete this um, high level tutorial with just a breakdown of the tread dump, right? Which is typical format for uh, for hotspot. Again, high level, and we're going to dissect uh, raw data later on. So JVM, right? Essentially, uh, as I mentioned, you will get a listing of your. Uh, of course, if your application is using a Java container, like Tomcat or JBoss, as I mentioned, you will get a, a tr multiple thread pools or a breakdown of all the threads executing user requests of your application, right? Um, and then you may get separate threads as, as well, like separate program or main thread of the container. And we're going to uh, I'm going to identify you what, what this all means, right? Because one of the key challenges will be for you to first you need to differentiate the application thread versus the container managed thread, right? Otherwise, you can spend like several hours trying to figure all that out. But first, you need to understand quickly the threads that you care about and filter out the one that you don't need right to focus on right so that, that that's a key understanding otherwise you'll be spending too much time throughout the analysis process right and then of course the jvm as i mentioned here you will have internal jvm threads either hotspot or ibm g9 if you're using the ibm uh, product itself and even the garbage collection threads for instance if you're using the parallel or the one of the compactor collector uh, you'll get some of the parallel GC threads which will show up in the JVM thread dump itself. Okay, and of course a bit of data like GenDI global references count and depending on which format you use, right? So essentially that's high level breakdown. So essentially you get a lot of data, a lot of threads depending on the size of your application, uh, the time that you took the snapshot, um, and, and then you need to try to make sense of all that data all together, which is exactly what will be the goal here. Get a thread dump um, and for you to understand what this is all about. So at the end of this um, uh, training, I think what you need to understand is ultimately you need to be able to get a thread dump yourself, go through this data quickly, right, as I mentioned, and hopefully you should be able in just a few minutes to quickly parse through that thread dump have a, and, and at least come up with a list of maybe one or two reasons on what is this potential issue. So I think that would be a good way for you to, to size your achievement in, in this training. And, and for that purpose, I'll, I'll get back with more uh, case studies as well. But first, we'll start with some fundamentals. Okay, so, so that's it for the training for uh, today. Um, for the next running session, we'll uh, deep dive into the fundamentals and, uh, and I'll show you an example of a thread dump uh, data itself that we're going to dissect together. Okay, well, thank, thank you and uh, please free to, uh, to post any comment. Have a good day.